Do you have a bunch of crates like me, but very limited keys? And you also have no clue what's the best way to farm them. Well, in some worlds, it is literally impossible to get them because the percentage is zero. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the absolute best way to farm these keys. And I'm going to be going over the best way to farm diamond keys, gold keys, silver keys, and even rust keys. We're going to be going over everything and the absolute fastest way that you can get all of them. So let's start all the way from the beginning in world one, where in world one, the percentage of you getting a rust key is 10%. Although it's a little bit weird because the odds of getting a rust key increases by how high up on the worlds you are. So in world one, chance of you getting a rust key is 10%, but in world two, the chance increases and it's now 13% chance to get a rust key. And if we go to world three, the chance increases even more to 17%. But why is this? This is because in world one, you can get a rust key, a silver key, and a gold key. However, the silver key is only 3% chance of you getting. And the gold key is 0.05% of you getting in world one. But who cares about world one? Because I think majority of us are not in world one, but actually in world two or world three. So in world two, like I said, the rust key has a 13% chance of getting, but the silver key has a 5% chance. So it increased 2%. Although the gold key has increased a lot. And in world two, you now have a 2.5% chance of getting a golden key. But what about the diamond key? Well, in world one and world two, you have literally 0% chance of getting a diamond key. There's no way you're getting one. It is literally zero. It doesn't exist. But now we're in world three where I think majority of you guys are. And your odds of getting a rust key in here is a total 17%. And a silver key is then 7%. A golden key is now a whelping 5%. So basically all the chances are increasing. It's It gets easier and easier for you to get keys, but also easier and easier for you to get worse keys. Although in world three, you now have a chance of getting a diamond key, what are the odds to get a diamond key? Well, the odds is exactly 0.05% chance. And that is extremely low. I can tell you right now, I AFK grinded for 24 hours straight and I did not get a single diamond key because I was doing the wrong thing. So what is the correct thing to do? How do you get the most keys? How do you get the most diamond keys, golden keys, and all of that? Well, as you guys can see here, it says keys will randomly drop by defeating better NPCs. So if you want diamond keys, you obviously want to be the best and strongest NPC that you can currently fight. So for me, since I'm in World 4, I would have to go ahead and fight the Mutant King over and over since he has the highest chance. So the odds of getting a rust key in world four is 20%. Um, although to get a silver key, it's 15% and a golden key is a 10% chance. So the chances have increased a lot for gold key. But here is a little tricky thing. The diamond key percentage has not increased at all. In world four, the percentage you get a diamond key is still 0.05%, which is really weird in my opinion because these NPCs are so much stronger to defeat compared to world three. I don't know why the Developers decided to do that. Here is my honest opinion and honest guess that they are just hungry for money. Hello, I like money. As you can see, diamond keys cost tons of Robux, so that's why they made it super hard to get because they won Robux. And I think that I think that's a very bad approach. Uh, I've had many other YouTubers give their opinions on this, and nobody likes this at all, so uh, that's a bit bad for the game. But if you want the most keys possible, the most golden keys, the most silver keys, the most diamond keys, you want to fight this boss right over here, the Mutant King, uh, or at least any stronger boss that you can fight, okay? You do not want to be fighting the Poseidon, all right? The Poseidon counts as World 3, and therefore will give you, you know, that great keys. You have a higher chance at getting keys in World 4 or anywhere in World 3. If you're on World 3, I guess go for the Poseidon. But if you're on World 4, go for World 4. So overnight, I have been grinding um, the Poseidon. And as you guys see, I did not get a single diamond key from the Poseidon. Like, not even one. But I did get a, a lot of rust keys and a lot of golden keys. If I were to, if I were to grind all, all night, I would have gotten many more golden keys, many more silver keys, and way less rust keys. So make sure you guys pick the right world. Don't grind too low if you're aiming for keys. And uh, that's basically that. I want to go and actually quickly open all of these and let's see what we get because I have a lot so it's it's not working bro okay all right whatever but anyways hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did find this useful please drop a like and subscribe I would highly appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next live stream video or I'll see you guys in the discord server see ya